Why are your grades average? Why are there people in your class, friends, acquaintances, they're getting better grades than you? Why? What are they doing that you're not? Are they studying more than you? Are they getting more sleep than you? Are they working smarter than you? Are they attending class more than you? Stop feeling sorry for yourself. You got a problem with your grades, with your studies? Do something about it. Life goes by so quick. Don't waste these years. Make the most of them. No wasting time, no procrastinating, no watching TV, no partying, no Netflix. The earlier you decide you're going to give it everything you've got, the better life you're going to have. Healthier, wealthier, happier, smarter, better. Those grade A students, the ones with the 4.0 GPA, we all know them. The ones who can walk into an exam and then walk out still smiling. You just see the end result. You just see the outcome. You don't see the hours and hours sitting at home alone until late at night with just a desk lamp on. You don't see the parties they didn't attend or the TV they didn't watch or the Netflix subscription they never bought. It's behind the scenes where the grind and hustle takes place. You need consistency. Hard work is just not enough. You might grind on Monday and grind on Tuesday and grind on Wednesday. Then you might have Thursday and Friday off. Then you do a little bit here on Saturday and a little bit there on Sunday. You see someone else will be grinding from Monday right through Sunday and they're gonna catch you and they're gonna pass you. The truth is, you have the ability, you have the willpower, you have the knowledge and the discipline and the support to climb to the top of the class. So why aren't you? Everything good in life begins with a challenge. Everything worth achieving is at the end of an uphill battle. It's not gonna just happen to you. You have to make it happen. So, there are people in your class getting better grades than you? Good. Observe them. Learn from them. Study them. This is your time. This is your moment. It's your dream. No one else is going to make it happen. Only you. You're in control. Some days, of course, you'll get tired. You'll get knocked down. You'll want to throw in the towel. But you don't get this far. You don't get to where you are right now and just stop. Any path you take to get where you want to be if that place is worthwhile, it's going to be hard. Struggle, stress, frustration. Those are signs you're on the right path. You have where you are now and where you want to be. And there's only one road that will take you there. And that's good old fashioned hard work. Work hard, work smart, be consistent seven days a week. No excuses, no procrastination. You have it within you. You just have to find it. And when you get to the end, when you feel like giving up and closing your books and going to bed, you can do one of two things that will determine who you're going to be. You can do A, give up. Or B, when you've had enough, you start to take productive action in the way you need to go. We all have a choice. And that choice defines who we're going to be. Someone who regrets their whole life. Or we're going to be the champions and people who set standards and become role models. It's what we do when we feel like giving up. It's A, give up. Or B, do the damn work. What you're doing now when you're studying, at university, at school, wherever it is, this is where you're going to learn the skills that will dictate which way you're going to go. 
Whether you're going to be like the 99% of the population and let life just pass by, or whether you're going to be in that top 1% and win. And that's the difference between winners and losers. Losers do just enough to get by, whereas winners do whatever it takes to get it done. If a winner wants an A on his next exam, he'll do it. If a winner wants a 4.0 GPA, he'll do it. If a winner wants to become somebody, he'll do it. And it's this mentality that you should be perfecting right now. It's like what Jim Ron says. The first step is to imagine what's possible. The second step is to believe that what's possible is possible for you. Now here's a third step. It takes the disciplined activity to turn nothing into something. Study hard and make it real. There are times where you seem to be doing a lot, but things just don't work out. When you run into one obstacle after another, after another, you just want to give up. You feel like it's never going to happen. And let me tell you something. Yeah, it's going to be hard. And so what? It's going to take time. It's going to take blood, sweat, tears. But we get one opportunity in life, one shot at life to do whatever you want to do. So now's your chance. Right now, in this moment, do not waste it. And when you don't even need to think about it, when the winner's mentality is just a way of life for you, that's when beautiful things start to happen. Clarity is power, and the clearer you know exactly what you want, the more likely you are to end up achieving it, the easier it is for your brain to get you there. Envision exactly what you want. Envision exactly how it will feel when you do finally get there, and make it so compelling that when you wake up in the morning, it's the first thing you think about when you do this with your studying and you start focusing and you're clear on exactly what you want and you know exactly how to get there, you're going to have motivation, you're going to have the drive, and you're going to start achieving. A lot of people don't study. They don't achieve the grades they could achieve because they think they don't know how to do it. They think they're not capable and they're not willing to stumble and fall again and again. They're not willing to put themselves out there, ask for help when they need it, because it's just not worth it to them. Well, you gotta learn how to make it worth it to you. You gotta learn to love studying, to be passionate about it. You've gotta find it within you, somewhere, because it's that love and that passion that will get you through. It will drive you and keep you going when everyone around you is struggling. Most people go through life not wanting to deal with their failure. When you fail an exam, when you get your grades back and you're disappointed, it's painful. We've all been there. Now remember that pain. Remember the pain when all your friends achieved a better grade than you. Remember the deep disappointment you felt within you. Remember that feeling. Now here's the important part. Ask yourself why you failed. Ask yourself why you're disappointed. And the people around you, your friends, your teachers, they'll look at you in total amazement. They think, how do you do that? And you're going to show them that you're a totally different creature. Because when it's worth it, you'll do whatever it takes. You've got to question yourself. How much effort you've been putting in? Because effort is the only thing coming between you and your exams. And if you don't think it's worth putting in the effort, that means you're okay with being average. And no one should be okay with just being average. And if you're really honest with yourself, it's you. It's not your teacher's fault, or your parents' fault, your friends' fault. You're the reason you failed. Now if you wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and say, I'm failing because of me then you're going to do something about it. You will change, you will improve, you will start getting better grades. At the end of the day, if you embrace failure and learn from it, that's how winners win. I remember Tom Bailu once said, whatever it is that you're going to do in your life, if you have any interest in doing something extraordinary, if you have any interest in performing better than your classmates, 
If you have any interest in getting better grades, this is the takeaway for you. The only way you're going to push past the mountain of obstacles, the late night studying until two in the morning, the multiple deadlines that just keep coming and coming, you need to have extraordinary focus to know exactly what you want, to have clarity of purpose, to have a crystal clear vision of exactly it is that you're trying to achieve, whether it's getting that A grade or 4.0 GPA, or getting into the most prestigious university in the country. When you have that and you stare at it all day and you think about it and you think exactly how you're going to make it happen, and it's the first thing you think about in the morning when you wake up, it's only then that you have a chance. Because then, my friends, when that procrastination starts to slide into your life, you will muster the force that you need to destroy that obstacle. It takes such a passionate, almost obsessive focus to get to the top. You really got to put everything into it. While your classmates are sleeping, you're studying. While they're eating, you're studying. While they're partying, you're studying. It really will take everything you got to climb to the top of the class. But it's achievable. It's definitely achievable. And they'll look up at you and think, how did he do it? Most of us aren't defeated in one decisive battle. We're defeated one tiny, seemingly insignificant decision at a time. When we decide to procrastinate instead of study, and it suddenly becomes a habit, and it slowly chips away at who we should really be, that's how we lose. It's in those little moments, the quiet moments, when no one is looking, when it seems like it just doesn't matter. And so we take the easy path. We don't worry about pushing back. Each bad decision you make, every one of them by themselves is nothing. But when you take them as a holistic thing, suddenly you stop getting the grades you could achieve. You stop passing the exams you could pass. You stop being the person you could be. If you are willing to muster the force, the determination to see yourself through to the end of your exams, it is not going to be easy. In fact, it's going to be incredibly hard. It will challenge everything about who you are. But if you can do it, at the end of that journey, you will be a fundamentally different person. In fact, that is the point of going on a journey. The journey is never the point. It's always about the self-transformation. It's about becoming the best possible person you can be, right now, to you. They're just exams you have to pass. But the determination and the work ethic that you acquire and develop and refine. It's these skills that you're going to take with you and carry you through life. That is what you're working for. The self-transformation. It is within you. Now, it's up to you to find it. What's the single most important thing that will determine whether you get the grades you want? It's hunger. If you have enough hunger inside of you, you'll prepare day and night. Study day and night and no exam will be difficult. You've got to keep taking your studies to the next level. You got to achieve. There's another level to this thing, to studying, to education, to the effort you're putting in right now. There's another level that you haven't quite reached yet. And there will be moments when you get tired and beat down and you're going to feel discouraged, maybe even depressed. And it's good to feel discouraged sometimes, because when you're feeling discouraged, that's when you're being put to the test, seeing how bad you really want it. It's only going to build your character. If you want to stay at home on the sofa watching TV, feeling sorry for yourself, well, that's up to you. But there will be someone else out there that's inspired and motivated. And we're going to go out there and we're going to go and get it. And when you get to the end, when you feel like giving up and closing your books and going to bed, you can do one of two things that will determine who you're going to be. You can do A, give up. Or B, when you've had enough, you start to take productive action and the way you need to go. We all have a choice. 
and that choice defines who we're going to be. Someone who regrets their whole life. Or we're going to be the champions and people who set standards and become role models. It's what we do when we feel like giving up. Step forward. Do not wait. Go to your desk and study. And make every day, every minute, every second, make it all count. And become the person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time. Be strong. Be powerful. Be aggressive. Instead of letting your goals and your studying slide out from beneath you, instead of letting all those things slide, use the discipline within you to make it happen. Don't be weak. Shut down all those pathetic excuses and make it happen. It is within you. You just got to find it. So when your alarm clock goes off, you have a decision to make. And it takes discipline to do this, to really commit to having a productive day, to get up and to make every single minute of your day count. And you got to do this every day, no matter what it takes, no matter what obstacles get in your way, no matter what your friends say, no matter what your classmates say, you are going to do this. You've got to do the work. No one's going to come knocking on your door with opportunities if you haven't put in the work in the first place. And if you really want it that bad, you better get used to being uncomfortable. What you concentrate on is what you get. You've got to concentrate. If you concentrate on studying, you get the grades you want. If you concentrate on improving your work ethic every day, an incredible work ethic is what you'll get. If you concentrate on success, success is what you get. It's not a difficult concept to understand. If you want to do something in your life, whatever it is, it's going to take concentration. Don't stop. Obstacles, challenges, distractions, keep moving forward. Success is right there in front of you. You keep studying. No matter how rough the sea, you keep studying. No matter how many people are telling you you can't do it, you keep studying. What if you can pull this off? What if you can become the very person you dream of? It starts as soon as your alarm clock goes off. You have a decision to make and it takes discipline to do this. To really commit to having a productive day. To get up, to make every single minute of your day count. And you gotta do this every single day, no matter what it takes. No matter what obstacles get in your way. No matter what your friends say. No matter what your classmates say. A constant fight that just doesn't stop against weakness, against procrastination and laziness. It's a campaign of hard work and dedication. It's waking up early and going to bed late and studying every second in between. The fulfillment of your dreams lies within you and you alone. Whether you pass your exams or fail your exams is yours. You need to be persistent about what it is that you want to achieve. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You want it and you're going to give it everything you've got to achieve it. I didn't say it was going to be easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. If you want the A grades and the 4.0 GPA, if you really want it, if you're not just saying it, but deep down you feel it within you, there's going to be sacrifice. There's going to be work, and you're going to have to make tough decisions, and you're going to have to be patient. But if you can combine those three things, that's what makes great things happen. That's what builds extraordinary lives. Create the highest, grandest vision possible because you become what you believe. No matter how crazy it might sound to the other people, think about it carefully. Who do you want to be? What makes you happy? Keep pushing because you believe in yourself and your vision. It needs to be clear to you. You need to know exactly what you want. You know what it tastes like and smells like. But you're never going to be able to do it if you keep making the wrong decisions, if you keep procrastinating and wasting time doing things that don't align you with your end goal. You want to achieve exceptional grades from now on? It's on you. 
You can make it happen. You've got the power to do that. You can change things for you. It doesn't matter what grades you got in the past. It doesn't matter. See, when you acknowledge it and say, hey, it's me. I'm the one that determines the outcome. I've got to do this. I have some obstacles in front of me. I know it's not going to be easy, but ultimately these obstacles are not going to slow me down. Just when you feel like you've done your last hour of studying or read the last passage in the textbook and your brain is telling you you can't study anymore, you say, yeah, I've got to do just a little bit more. Make this year the year that you commit to yourself that you're going to make progress. It just takes discipline and outright dedication. If you can commit to winning every single day, day for the entire year in 365 days your life will be drastically different i don't care who you are or which country you're from or how old you are it's the same for everyone if you're going to have the energy and the passion to drive through the day working at 100 percent effort you've got to wake up every single day and start with that vision because right now, while you're quitting, the next person will be studying. While you're quitting and giving up, while you're saying, all right, that's enough, it's time to rest, the next person is just getting started. Somebody's gonna win, you or him. It's very simple. The person who wins is the person who wants it the most. The majority of people allow their dreams to die it's hard living your dream. It's hard taking the pressure during exams. It's hard taking the heat with deadlines looming. Most students won't do that. Most people don't have the determination and hunger about them. That kind of courage and fearlessness about life, it's hard, yes. Changing your life, breaking bad habits, making new habits, starting all over again, that's hard. When you're in charge of your own life and you really take control and take life on, you say, I won't allow this to stop me. So what if it's hard? It's going to be worth it. It's worth it to me to put the effort for my next exam. It's worth it to me to show my friends, family, teachers that I can become something. That's when I put my mind to something. I can achieve whatever I want. It's worth it to me to pay this kind of price. It really doesn't matter what you're going through. How you deal with it, that's all that matters. Do you think like an A student? Or are you falling back into that C mindset? Do you believe you're an A student? I remember Eric Thomas saying, he said, if you only have 24 hours in a day, your success is dependent upon how you use your 24 hours. When I was broke, if you looked at my schedule, you'd see that I woke up whenever I felt like waking up. That's what you'd see first. Now, I studied the top millionaires in the world, and I discovered that they all wake up at 3, 3.30 in the morning. And how did I find that out? Because they were all talking about the 3 o'clock news. I didn't even know news came on that early, I'll be honest with you. And I'm thinking, if they wake up at 3, 3.30, and everyone else is getting up at 8 and 8.30, the reason why they're successful is not because they're smart, it's because they just got a 5 hour jump on the world. If you want to get A grades, then make it happen. If you want to have it, then you gotta act like you have all the energy in the world because today is yours. But it's no good just thinking you're going to make a change. It takes action. Everything that you ever dreamed of is nothing without action. Everywhere you look, take a look around you. You're surrounded by people that have impressive dreams. But they stay as dreams because they didn't take action. One of the most expensive things that you will ever experience in your lifetime is a missed opportunity. This is your time. You have an opportunity right in front of you, right now. Your family is counting on you to do the right thing. Your friends are counting on you to do the right thing. Your teachers, your brothers, your sisters are counting on you to do the right thing. 
to cash in on this opportunity. It's on you. You're the one that has to do this. The universe will step aside for the person who knows where they're going. What did you do last Monday? What did you do last Tuesday? What did you do last Wednesday? You got to be honest with yourself. How much of that time did you spend studying? And how much of that time did you spend watching TV, going out with the friends, procrastinating? The amount of time you put into studying every day will determine what grades you get at the end of it all. And the amount of time you put into hustling will determine whether you're going to be successful or not. It reminds me of the speech by Walter Bond. And it went something like this. Sharks are hunters and predators. They never stop swimming. In fact, if a shark stops swimming, it will die. If a shark goes backwards, it will die. Think like a shark, act like a shark, and behave like a shark. And if you hang around sharks long enough, it will transform your mindset. And I promise you, you will be like a shark and you will think like a shark. You can't go backwards. And if you stop swimming, you will die. Success is all around you. Just pay attention. Just look around you. There are people in your class getting A's. So why aren't you? You need the mindset. I'm going to think. I'm going to execute. And I'm going to win. I'm going to think. I'm going to execute. And I'm going to win. I'm going to execute what I've been trained to do. Can I ask you a question right now? Can I ask you a real question? Not your neighbor. I'm talking to you. What kind of student are you right now? You're in charge of your study. If you're getting B grades and you want to get an A, you're in charge. In order for you to rise up, you better take your game to the next level. Your mindset needs to go to the next level. Your studying needs to go to the next level. Your discipline needs to go to the next level. You need to become somebody different. And when you get home, you're going to become something different. In the words of Art Williams, what does the A grade student do that the C grade student doesn't do? He pays the price a little bit more. He works hard a little bit more. He bleeds a little bit more. He studies a little bit more. He reads a little bit more. If you want to be on the top of your class, you got to be tough and you can't quit. If you go out there this week and think you're supposed to be somebody and you're going to do something big and you study hard and you prepare well for your exams and you give it everything within you, you got a chance. It's usually not just one huge decision that you make that makes the biggest impact on your life. It's often all these small decisions that you make throughout the day, the ones that are seemingly insignificant, but they all add up. When it's time to go and study, are you going to study? Or are you just going to spend another 10 more minutes scrolling through Instagram? Are you going to go study for your exam that's coming next week? Or are you going to watch one more film on Netflix? It's these little decisions that you make that impact your life. When you make your decision, make the right decision. It's one foot in front of the other, one little victory at a time. That's the only way we can do it. That's all it is. You just begin. You solve one problem, then you solve the next problem. Life gives you what you fight for. Life doesn't give you what you want. Everybody would want to pass all their exams all the time, right? Everybody wants to be successful. But life gives you what you work for. If you want to win, you need to show up to your classes and demand success and demand happiness. Desire and determination is everything. It isn't talent. It isn't brains. It isn't luck. It's desire and determination. You've got to have the will and the hunger to study hard and be somebody. This is your life. This is your legacy. This is who you are. You're writing your own history right now. Don't put off your studying until tomorrow. Because tomorrow will become the next day, and the next, and then the next. Get your studying done today. Decide to be better than you were the previous day. Make the decision to get better grades than you got yesterday. 
make the decision to be a better person than you were yesterday. And it all starts by making one seemingly insignificant decision at a time. A lot of students, they, they think they can't get the same grades as their friends that are getting better grades than them. They think that getting an A grade is just too far out of reach. But there are some students that decided within themselves, I'm going to make it. Some people aren't waiting for the perfect moment. Some people are moving out on their own because they feel within themselves, I got what it takes to make it. They're not afraid about what their friends will think of them or what their teachers or parents will think of them because they know what they deserve. They know what they can create for themselves because these people have decided as they look into the future, nothing can stop them. If you were to write a book based on your life and give it to somebody, would that book be worth reading? If not, you better do something about it. You have the opportunity right now to change that. We've all got 24 hours in a day, all of us. Bill Gates has 24 hours. Barack Obama has 24 hours. Elon Musk has 24 hours. You have 24 hours. But what are you doing with your time? You've got to be honest with yourself. Are you letting time slip by? Wasted? Nobody's going to be doing the studying for you. Nobody's going to be reading the books for you or revising the exam for you. You've got to do all that yourself. So what are you doing with your time? Are you studying 9, 10, or even 11, 12 hours a day? Because that's what A-grade students are doing. That's the part you don't see. You only see their grades. You don't see the hours they spend grinding behind their desk. I remember what Jocko Willink once said. My glory doesn't happen in front of a crowd. It doesn't happen in a stadium or on a stage. There's no medals handed out. It happens in the darkness of the early morning in solitude, where I try and I try and I try again. You have to try with everything you have to be the best you can possibly be. Better than what your friends thought you could be. Better than what your teachers and parents thought you could be. And when you get an A grade in your next exam, no one can take that away from you. And the next exam, do the same. And the next exam, the same. Before you know it, you'll be on the road to victory. A victory of will and discipline. A victory achieved because you will not stop. Create the highest, grandest vision possible because you become what you believe. No matter how crazy it might sound to the other people, who do you want to be? Keep pushing. Make this year the year that you commit to yourself that you're going to make progress. Focus on what you're going to do about it today. Focus on what you're going to improve on today that made you fail yesterday. Focus on who you want to become and start telling yourself what you want to be. I am great. I am a great student. I am a great son or daughter. Whatever you want to be, Start your day off with I am, because what follows your I am is going to shape your day, your year, your life. You want those good grades? You have to work hard to get them. You want that large bank account? You have to work hard to get it. You have to work hard to get it. It's all about positioning yourself for greatness. You need to believe you can achieve it, and then go out and achieve it. Too many people out there have dreams of being a millionaire, but have a $100 mind. If you're gonna dream that big, you have to have the hustle and the grind that matches. Big dreams, big hustle. They go together, and they can't be separated. You wanna be great, you wanna be special, you wanna be wealthy, you wanna be a billionaire, you wanna be the best surgeon, the best doctor, the best lawyer. Whatever your best is going to be, you gotta get up and you gotta change. You gotta do something that you never thought that you'd do. You gotta go ahead and rewrite your own history. Your mind is everything. If you don't believe you can do something, then you can't. Whatever your goal is, you have to get there. 
even though people are going to say that you can't do it. Even though people are going to throw all kinds of obstacles your way. Even though your friends are going to go out partying all night while you stay at home and study. You need to go in deep. You need to immerse yourself in school. All you're doing every single day is studying. You can be what you want to be if you work hard at it. You can be where you want to be. It's so sad to see so many young people give up on the life they want to live just because they are scared of failure. Most people fear failure so much that they don't even try. Therefore, they fail just by default. Achieving incredible grades will never be easy. But the only way you can guarantee to get poor grades is to not even try in the first place. Don't fear putting yourself out there. There's too much pressure to fit in. Fit in with friends, fit in with society, too afraid to dream about what you are capable of and then going out there and grabbing life by the horns. Believe in yourself. If you can dream it, then you can be it. If you believe it, then you can achieve it. And it might not happen straight away. It might take you longer than expected. An F grade student doesn't transition to an A grade student overnight. But if you're committed and maintain belief that in the end you will achieve the results you are chasing, then there's absolutely nothing getting in your way. Oftentimes we make excuses as to why we are not where we want to be. Why we're not what we want to be. Why we're not who we want to be. And there is no excuse to not let your greatness shine through. There is no excuse to not give your very best. You have two choices in this world. You can make excuses or you can study. And guess what? Excuses are what separates you from owning the life that you want. You've got to make a decision to stop making excuses and get it done. There's nobody in this world that's going to get you what you want. You're going to have to go out there and get what you want by studying hard. Being talented is not good enough. You've got to study hard and you've got to work hard. Stop waiting for somebody to come in there and make your life perfect. Make your life great. You got to do it. You got to make the change in your life that you want to happen. You cannot depend on anybody. The only person I'm ever going to bet on in this world is myself because I know that's the one thing that I can control. My attitude and my mentality. Stop doing what you're doing every single day unless you're dedicated to being great. Now get out there, get outside, and go make change happen for you and your family. Right here, right now, today. Eddie Gordon said, you can do the easy things in life, Life is going to be hard, I promise you. But if you go out there and do those hard things, I'm talking studying when your friends are partying, preparing for an exam one month in advance when your friends are leaving it to the night before. If you go about it and do those hard things, those things that no one wants to do, then life will be easy. It's a choice that you have to make. You have to step up and walk that path, take that road, that lonely, dark, cold road. That road that so many people don't want to take. That's when you're going to truly find yourself. Why is it that you don't want to grow? Why is it that you just settle for the grades 
that you're getting? Why is it that you just shy away from challenging yourself and taking life on like you've got another hundred lifetimes after this? Why is it? Because doing well at school, at university, it's hard. It's hard getting good grades. But we are in charge of the life we live. And when you're in charge, you say, if it's hard, then do it hard. Don't allow this to stop you. There is no easy mode in this. What is the easiest way to turn your grades around? Your attitude about it. That you decide that you are not working at your full potential. That you decide your grades do not represent what you can achieve. Charles Wendell said, he said, the longer I live, the more I realize the impact attitude has on life. Attitude to me is more important than facts. It's more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, than failures, than successes, than what other people think or say or do. It's more important than appearances, giftedness, or skill. And we have a choice. Every day. The attitude that we're going to come at life. You cannot change what grades you got in the past. You cannot change the exams that you failed. You can't even change what you did yesterday. But you can change how you will attack tomorrow. Those moments that you think you don't want to do something, when you want to procrastinate, when you think, I'll do it tomorrow, that's exactly when you have to go for it. When things get hard, don't ever ask, why me? Dig deep down and say, try me, because I'm stronger than anything you can throw at me. Because I've been down that dark path, I've been alone, and I rose up above it all. If you fail, it's because you're reaching for something that is worth failing for. If you fail, it's not over. If you fail, fall on your back and look up. If you can look up, you can get up. And if you learn, then it's not a failure. You don't lose if you learn. Grab life by the horns and go for it. Stop waiting. Stop looking for other people's approval. Take a chance. Take a risk. There's nothing worse than regret and thinking what could have been. How bad do you want it? Are you talking about it or are you studying for it? Greatness is no joyride. Greatness is full of adversity and obstacles. How bad do you want it? How dedicated are you to achieving extraordinary grades? When you get up in the morning, don't look at your emails. Don't look at your phone. Don't think about yesterday's problem and yesterday's struggles. Focus! You gotta make a decision to stop making excuses and get it done. There's nobody in this world that's going to get you what you want. You're going to have to go out there and get what you want by studying hard. Being talented is not good enough. <laughs>